Hey guys, Andrewman96 here, and today I'm going to be playing a new game. So, I was going on Steam, and I was just wondering what I would do, because I was kind of bored, and I decided, hmm, maybe I can find some free games to play. So, I actually managed to stumble upon this game called Robocraft, and the idea sounded pretty cool. It's kind of like a mix between Minecraft and some battle game, like third-person shooter, whatever. Um... So yeah, I'm going to be playing that. I already played it a little bit, and I progressed a little bit, and there's no way to reset, so I'm going to start from where I am. Um, but it's, it's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory. You uh, basically build blocks into a ship, and then you can battle them. So I'm just going to start by building a little block. I'll show you how this works real quick. You've got the tech tree, which is like uh, if you want to upgrade your stuff. After you battle a bunch of times, you get these upgrade points or whatever, and you can upgrade your... Uh, upgrade your uh, craft or whatever you call it. Uh, then you have the cube depot. This is where you can buy cubes. I can buy a bunch of these because they're all free. Um, and then all these cost money, but they're a little bit better. Uh, so the heavy ones can like help your ship to not tip over and stuff. And then you've got the windshield ones, which are just like a windshield. You can see through them and that sort of thing. Although it's not really useful because it's a third person <laughs> anyways. But oh well. Um, then I've got armored cubes, and I had to upgrade to get those. Uh, but yeah, they're more armored than the normal cubes. Uh, here's my inventory. I've got, this is the chassis stuff uh, to build my car or whatever. Movement for wheels, hardware for guns and stuff that I want to put on the ship to destroy other ships with. Um, then I've got a couple special stuff. Uh, I'm pretty much only going to be using the pilot seat for right now. And then cosmetic stuff, which I have nothing. So... I guess I'm going to start by building a small little ship. Um, I'll start with the chassis. Don't need that anymore. Um, I guess I'll put a wheel right there. So it's going to look kind of cool when it's done. Actually, what I want on the front is a steering wheel so I can actually turn. So I'm going to put that right there and put this right here. And then I think I'm going to go back and get my building tool right here. Little blocks. Um, I'm probably going to cover up the wheel a little bit because they can actually, when you're battling people, they also have guns and they can shoot off your wheel. So the less exposed your wheel is, the better. I'm going to make my chassis. Oh crap! Make my chassis go longer. This is going to be like the Ferrari of uh, <laughs> of this game. <laughs> um, where's my wheels? I'm still getting the hang of it. I don't need a steering wheel in the back. But, um, yeah, eventually I'll be a boss of this. Actually, I kind of already am a boss of this. It's not very hard. So, I'm just going to get my... Crap. I'm just going to get my Ferrari of cars right here. Let me build a seat. Alright, so now you can sort of see how the car is taking place. Um, it's got front wheels, back wheels, little chassis thing going on here. I'm actually going to cover up these wheels so they can't shoot me again uh, in those wheels areas. Um, and then cover them up again right back here. So, I have my basic uh, vehicle. If I were to practice or go online and attack people with this thing. This would be able to drive around and stuff. I wouldn't be able to shoot anybody though because I have no guns. So I'm going to change that right now. I'm going to give myself some firepower. Uh, I'll start with one of these free front mount guns. Dang. Um, sometimes you have to toy around with it to figure out where you can actually place the stuff. Um, but yeah, eventually you can get everything on it. See, I can put this one on the front like that. Um, I think I'm going to get some of these top mount guns right here and right here. I think that's going to be it for my crap, my, for my little vehicle. I'm actually going to get some heavy cubes. Put them like this. Oh, crap. Um, so that my vehicle can stay connected, I guess to the earth. I don't know, you'll see. Uh, so if, if this thing tips over, it really sucks and you can't untip it over unless you have a special gear thing. So, um, and I, I don't have one of those right now. 
Um, so yeah, this is my little craft that I'm going to use. And I'm actually going to go right now and play against some people. So online battle. Basically, it's like, uh, it's like a team deathmatch kind of domination, kind of, I don't even know what to call it. Uh, but you have your base, and the enemy has their base, and basically your goal is to go capture the enemy's base while killing all of the other enemies. And once you do that, you win, and you get, uh, you get points that you can buy stuff with. So this game was actually free-to-play, um, and I'm not very big on free-to-play games, but... Uh, this isn't as free to play, I guess, as other games would be. So most free to play games, you have to basically pay money to actually be good at the game. Um, in this one, as it appears, you can easily make money online by battling people. So you don't really have to add funds, like it says up here. I mean, these games always want you to add money or use money to add funds because that's how they make money. But, I mean, you don't have to do that in this one very much. So I've been put in a lobby and I'm actually down here it says, or I can't move my mouse, but it says teleporting players and it's basically splitting us onto teams and putting us in our spots. It's actually a very small lobby. Normally there's like uh, 10 people per team. Um, but once this loads, you get to see me in action. So there's like a little map and we're on Mars. Um, and so I've got this little crosshair, and I can shoot my stuff. And they actually shoot one at a time. So the guns I'm using are very low, um, low-tech guns. But this is these are my teammates right here. Seems like this guy has a really... What just happened over there? <laughs> okay, easy way out. But these guys seem to have, like, huge crafts that they built. Mine is a lot faster, though. It's a lot more maneuverable. So I'm just going to drive out this way. Uh, as you can see on the map where I'm going. Um, I'm going to find some enemies and I'm going to destroy them. Like you're supposed to do. See, I hear someone shooting, but I can't see. It's probably my team. Oh, see, here are enemies. Oh, crap. See, this guy's getting wrecked right now. Ah, don't run into me. No, no, get out of my way. What? Alright, so apparently... <laughs> I was shot by this guy. This guy's got this huge pulse cannon, and he one-shotted me. So, yeah. <laughs> oh well. Um, so I'm going to go back to my garage, because I don't want to spectate all these guys. But that's basically the gist of the game. I mean, you, you drive around shooting people. So I think I need to make my little craft a little bit better, so it's not destroyed every time in one shot like it just was. So it tells me that I was destroyed, gives me my information here, and that's how much uh, I earned. Even though I didn't really do much, um, I actually earned stuff. So my vehicle's actually destroyed, so I press R to repair it, and I can go to this repair using thing. And then it repairs my vehicle. Um, I'm going to add on some high-tech stuff. So I've got this, uh, these nice armored cubes here. I'm going to put these on the front so that if they shoot me from the front, it'll be harder for them to destroy me. Um, what else can I do? I'm going to go to... Let's see what else I have. Uh, I don't think there's much... I mean, I can make it, like, an awesome vehicle by putting <laughs> extra wheels on it. So I'll do... I mean, I'll do that. But there's my little vehicle. That probably sucks. Oh, well, we'll try it again. It probably shouldn't take nearly as long to... To put me in a lobby this time, um, but yeah, I have no, I still have no idea. I mean, I guess there are different tiers of robots based on uh, what you've unlocked and that sort of thing. Uh, tier one is just like the basic uh, free stuff. So if you have like little free blocks and you haven't paid any in-game money to get blocks, then you're on tier one, and that's the majority of people. Uh, then there's tier 2, which you basically have upgraded your stuff a little bit, and then you've been bumped up to the second tier. Um, so, of course, you have better weapons and all that. Um, and it goes all the way up to tier 10, where eventually you can, like, have thrusters and stuff and build planes and whatever. And so, basically, you, like, drop bombs on people. That's, like, upper tier stuff. <laughs> Alright, so it just put me in a game. And this, uh, this server is actually a lot bigger than the other one. Um... 
My robot isn't named anything. That's sad. I wanted to name it like Ferrari or something. It's called Robo 2, <laughs> which is the generic name for everybody. Everyone has Robo 1, Robo 3. That means they just haven't named their robots. Because you have like three hangers where you can build different robots. I'm using my second one because my first hanger has my uh, my better ship. And this one's the more basic uh, ship that I have. Here we go. Okay. Now it's loaded. Um, I've got these two awesome wheels. Making it very maneuverable. Uh, so as you can see, everyone has got these uh, really unique... Um, unique stuff, unique um, boat, whatever these ships, ship things, rovers. So it's, I mean, it's really cool in that sense. You got this guy right here is using like a tank tactic. This guy right here's got a small little craft that seems like it's like a scout thing. You can snipe in this game with uh, with those that thing that that guy one shot me with. You can snipe with that. But yeah, see here's oh that's a friend. Never mind. But yeah, I'm gonna go kick some enemy butt here. In a second. Ooh, I don't want to fall down there. But, um, yeah, nice bridge here. <laughs> it's like made of glass. I mean, that's the smartest engineering tactic, right? <laughs> um, I'm just following this guy, I guess. I don't want to get one shot at the end, that would suck. Oh, no, stop running into me, people. But yeah, I'm gonna, see, it gives me like a little hit marker when I hit somebody. I shoot this. Oh, I see someone shooting at me. Ah, oh, see, we're, we're outnumbered here, so I'm going to back off a little bit. Get stuck on the thing. Um, this, see the front cannon right here? It can't even shoot at this guy. Now it can. Oh, crap. See, I'm, I'm getting wrecked here. And as you get destroyed, you're, uh, you start losing stuff. So, see, uh, I've lost like, four of my wheels. Uh, I have a cannon, basically, in the back that I can use. So I'll... Oh, see, he destroyed me. However, I did a little better that time. <laughs> Look at this. This craziness right here. This guy's got, like, a tower. Aw, oh, I feel bad for that guy, kind of. See, see what I mean? Once you get flipped over, it's really difficult to get unflipped over. Alright, I think I'm gonna go back to my place again. See if I made some money. Once it loads. Alright, I got destroyed again. However, I destroyed enemy CPU, which I guess is like, I don't know, something per unit? Uh, cubes per unit? I don't know. So I got a little bit more money this time. I'm gonna go down here. Let's repair this first off. And I haven't actually gotten any points. Um, up. Okay, hang on. Up here, you can see uh, you can see how many points I can spend on the tech tree. Right here is how many uh, RP, whatever that means, um, I don't, currency. I don't know. That's your money, and then you got this like special money stuff right here. Um, so in the cube depot, you can buy stuff with either of these currencies, and then in the tech tree, you can use this stuff right here or this uh, gold points or whatever to upgrade. So what am I get? What can I get? How do I zoom in? There you go. So, I can't really get much of anything right now. Um, I'll get this armored tetra, I guess. And I'll get this armored cube. I don't have enough tech points to get this armored cube. Are you serious? I need four. I have seven. What? You can upgrade. What? Alright, so this is tier two, which I don't know what that means. But, <laughs> oh well. I guess I will uh, just purchase this stuff. Oh, I need tier 2 points. That makes sense. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I guess, is build a vehicle of these armored cubes. And they have their own weight. This one's 6 kilograms. Its armor rating is 88. Um, and they each take up some CPU. Um, so, I mean, you have to be careful about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the cube depot, I'm going to purchase a bunch of these nice little armored cubes, because I have tons of money, I'm rolling in the dough here. Uh, I'll get 30. Cost me 300 RP. I sound like a nerd right now, I know. Oh well. Um, 
I'm gonna give me some nice cannons. No, nah, I'm not gonna get four of those. I'll get two of those cannons. Because those are like those are like the high class tier two uh, SMGs. And then I'm gonna get my cube out right here. And basically I'm just gonna replace my vehicle with those these things. So I just kind of figured uh, maybe if I could manage to pull my plane all the way back, I could get this thing to take off. So I'm gonna try this. Uh, let's get this bad boy in the air. Or not. We will see.